Alright, welcome back everyone. So, again, E3 is right around the corner, so that means we're going to be getting some trailers. I thought for smaller games, but turns out Horizon Zero Dawn released a trailer today called Alloy's Journey Trailer, only on PS4. Um, I heard a rumor that it's being delayed into 2017, which is something I've been saying for a while now. It just seemed like a game that was way too ambitious, way too big, too many things going on for it not to at least be delayed once. And that's just what kind of happens in the game industry nowadays when you make such an open world, uh, ambitious game like this one. So um, that's bad news, but yet good news is we get to see some more of Horizon Zero Dawn. This one's called Alloy's Journey Trailer. I just woke up not too long ago. I'm a little tired, so maybe this will pick my energy up. So let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Okay. Your whole life you've been searching. And the elders. Oh, that music! You back. The girl is a curse. She came from nowhere. She is no one. When they told me to raise you. I didn't ask questions. Why am I an outcast? Who was my mother? Always you pushed for answers. Push yourself to the edge. Here in the valley, we may be outcasts, but it's safe. Out there, girl, you'll be lost. You won't know where to turn or who to trust. Oh, oh You'll be chasing my. a riddle into a wilderness of mysteries. The world of the old ones. What secrets lie buried beneath their crumbling ruins? Why Earth is ours? Taking a shit? These questions, Aloy, the tribe has forbidden. What if the answers are worse than not knowing? You can help, or you can get out of my way. Then be ready for the darkness. And be careful of what you bring to light. Even if you do catch what you're after, how do you know it won't bite back? Oh. Outcast! You came from nothing. You will die a nothing. Shit. I came from somewhere. Identity confirmed. Even if it destroys me. I will see this through. Oh, that's the box art. That looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, so um, I'm creating my list for my top 10 games before E3 like I did last year, and then we'll do one for after. You better believe this game is going to be on that list because it looks absolutely fantastic. We got brand new environments. Um, obviously, we kind of get an idea of what the game is going to kind of look like, but... There's a lot of varied environments in this trailer. Um, a lot of the cool stuff that they're going to be able to do with this game in terms of, you know, the natural and the machine-like kind of environments and the fact that there's like this weird blend between the two, between modern and nature, um, is the fact that they're going to get really creative with level design. In an open world game, it, it, it always seems to lack a little bit. Um, they're more focused on making the open world feel as real as possible as as making you know certain sections of the game have very very interesting level design um, it, it always is a tricky balance between the two but I think with this game they can get extremely creative with it and make you know certain areas have really interesting levels for combat 
for exploration, for all of that stuff. So a lot of the stuff that you look forward to in let's say single player campaigns like Uncharted, like The Last of Us, where they create these, they can focus on creating this super, I don't know, high energy kind of environment or level, uh, they can do that with this. They can make, you know, a, a level that, that has, or a section of the map that is super interesting to kind of traverse or to look around or to, um, to kind of like, just look at little, you know, look through the little nooks and crannies of the world itself. And, um, and a lot of the environments will take benefit from the kind of approach you're taking with this game in terms of the story creatively and the, just the premise overall. So, um, Horizon Zero Dawn looks absolutely fantastic. We took a little bit of a, of a look into Alloy's journey. Of course, that's what this trailer's called. Uh, I really, really like the way this, this, freaking game looks in terms of the protagonist they're taking a very very kind of different approach with this uh even you uh sorry yoshida was um see you could tell i'm tired yoshida even said a while ago that he was a little bit worried about gorilla's new ip you know a game that they're going to be investing um a lot in for the next couple of years having a female protagonist he was a little worried he didn't know how gamers were going to react but i'm really glad that gamers overall really excited about this game um even if it's a female protagonist i know it's not news for me it seems like okay yeah it doesn't yeah of course it's going to be successful if it looks cool gamers are not shallow like that but yet again it's it's uh he was worried so i guess he was worried for a reason he must have access to numbers or whatever but um again Man, this game looks so freaking good. I can't get over it. Um, it's going to be, again, in the top of my list, of, or one of the top of my list in terms of uh, my top games before, probably after E3. I can't wait with, I can't wait to see what they show. They're probably going to show a full gameplay demo. Um, and they just, uh, in order to alleviate the 2017 concerns, they released this uh, story slash gameplay trailer, which was really cool. I mean, it was actually kind of funny because it looked like one dinosaur was taking a shit. Um, I want to see how that turns out because that's pretty funny. But um, again, we got brand new robo dinos, whatever you want to call them, um, or dinosaur, I don't know. But we got brand new ones that we got to see. There were some unique looking ones. I'm going to have to take a look at the trailer. Again, maybe I'll do like a, um, a uh, rewind or something. I don't know. But uh, we got a look at possibly the protagonist. Um, I mean, not, not the protagonist, but the... Uh, the person that is the villain in the story, uh, but who knows, maybe it might change. But again, w with Allo, we're looking at a very kind of story-driven experience with her, but also a an experience that, that she's kind of like has that, I, get, I don't want to call her a, like a type of Nadine Ross, always fighting back or whatever, but she definitely is confident in her abilities. She definitely is confident in the way she speaks to other people and is not afraid to kind of combat, um, you know, with other people in terms of her interactions with uh, with others, but uh, that's what we have here. And uh, again, I'm excited because the story looks fantastic. I'm excited because the protagonist looks really interesting. I'm excited because the world looks incredible in terms of exploration, in terms of what uh, it's visually going to look like, and the combat itself. We saw a glimpse of that during E3 last year, um, and that looks really really interesting to play and looks like a lot of fun so this game overall it seems like the total package uh take your time making sure the game is absolutely perfect even if it doesn't come out in 2016 again i've been saying it for a while oh look coming february 28th 2017 so again 2017 like 2016 and like 2015 is gonna be round the clock amazing game so Oh man, we're living in a good time, people, and E3 is right around the corner, and I'm really excited. I want to know what you guys uh, say about Horizon Zero Dawn, Alloy's trailer. I mean, I, I don't know if you can see the bags in their eyes, but damn, I'm tired. Um, but this definitely woke me up. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the comments. If you hate me, you know what to do. If you like me, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.